Topic 5. Adjustment at the end of accounting period. Prepare statement of comprehensive income and statement of financial position. Given is an adjusted dry balance for Perniagaan Sri Langat as at 31st March 2020. Given are the additional information for this question. There are five additional information as stated below. The question required us to Prepare the general journal's entries to record the above transaction adjustment. Prepare the statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st March 2020. Prepare the statement of financial position as at 31st March 2020. In order to prepare the journal entries and prepare the financial statement, first step, we have to identify each account's in try balance, either classified in statement of profit or loss or statement of financial position and fall in which categories. Completed, identified and categorized accounts are as follows. Step 2. Prepare the adjustment entries. Additional information 1. Inventories on 31st March 2020 worth 17,750. Step 1. Record into statement of profit or loss. Minus after item cost of goods available for sale. Step 2. Record into statement of financial position under current assets. Additional information 2. Equipment depreciation of 5750 per year. Therefore, we straight away debit depreciation expense equipment for 5750 as depreciation is part of the cost that we treated as an expense over the useful life of an asset. As expense increase, we have to debit. We have to credit accumulated depreciation equipment for 5750 why do we credit because accumulated depreciation is a contra accounts to an asset normal balance for asset is on debit side therefore contra must be credited description will be to record depreciation expense for equipment. Additional information 3. The salary of 315 has not been paid until the company account is closed. It means the salary which is an expense for the current year incurred but not yet paid. Therefore, even though we do not pay, we have to recognize as our expense. An expense increase, we have to debit. Debit salaries expense for 315. Salaries expense, normal balance on debit side. When we debit, it means we add another 315 from the original amount of 12,750.
as we do not pay, our liabilities increase. Liabilities increase, we have to credit. Credit, salaries payable, 315 ringgit. The description will be to record salaries payable. The actual amount of salaries expense is 12,750 ringgit plus 315 comes to the amount of 13,065 ringgit. This amount we record in statement of profit or loss. Salaries payable, the amount of 315, we recorded in statement of financial positions under current liabilities. Additional information for the insurance expense is 325 ringgit for a year. Given in tri balance is a prepaid insurance which is an asset for the amount of 1150 as the time passing through parts of the prepaid insurance become an expense an insurance expense increase when an insurance expense increase we have to debit Prepaid insurance expired through passage of time to become an expense. Therefore, prepaid insurance, which is an asset, we have to minus. When we minus, it means we credit prepaid insurance. Because prepaid insurance is an asset, when we minus, it means decrease. Decrease, it means we have to credit. Prepaid insurance for the amount of 1,150, we minus 325 to get the amount of 825. This amount 825, we record in statement of financial position under current asset. Meanwhile, insurance expense for the amount of 325, we record in statement of profit or loss under expense. The description will be to record insurance expense. Additional information 5. Cash drawing of 275 ringgit still not recorded. Both accounts, which is drawing and cash, are not recorded. We look at the first item, drawing. Drawing is an honest equity account, contra to capital. A withdrawal of cash will increase the total amount of drawing. A withdrawal will decrease the honest equity accounts. Honest equity decrease with debit drawing. Therefore, in try balance, the item of drawing, the original amount of 2,500, we plus another 275. Meanwhile, in general journal, we debit drawing for the amount of 275. Cash. Cash is an asset. A withdrawal of cash result in decrease of an asset. A decrease of an asset, we have to credit cash. We credit cash accounts. Cash. The debit balance. We credit, therefore, we minus cash for 275 ringgit. Drawing. Drawing is on debit balance. We debit, therefore, we have to add another 275. 
An adjustment we recorded in general journal. Therefore, in general journal, adjustment date 2020 March 31st drawing with a big 275. Cash we credit 275. Cash the original amount of 20,625. We minus 275, we got the new figure of 20,350. This figure we record in statement of financial position under current asset. Meanwhile, drawing the original figure of 2,500, we have to plus 275, we got the new figure of 2,775. This figure we record in statement of financial position under owner's equity. We minus after the figure of capital plus net income minus drawing. The description will be to record cash drawing. This slide shown all the adjustment entries that we have done. All the adjustment entries we recorded in general journal. This slide shown the Peniagaan Seri Langat statement of profit or loss for the period ended 31st March 2020. How to prepare statement of profit or loss? Just follow the format that you have learned in Chapter 2. My focus is only at the additional information 1. Ending inventory. Ending inventory, we have to minus from cost of goods available for sale. This slide shown, we minus operating expenses. Insurance expense, 1150 we minus 825 from additional information number 4. Then we get insurance expense amount of 325. Salaries expense, 12,750. We plus accurate salaries of 315 from additional information number 3. Then we got salaries expense for the amount of 13,065 ringgit. Depreciation equipment from additional information number 2 given as 5,750. Therefore, we get net income of 20,760. This slide shown the Peniagaan Seri Langat statement of financial position as at 31st March 2020. Format as you have learned in Chapter 2. My focus is only on the adjustment made or a new figure or the figure that are changed. Under non-current asset, minus accumulated depreciation. Last year figure 11,500 plus this year depreciation expense for 5,750 we get the new figure of 17,250. Under current asset, cash, 20,625. We minus cash withdrawal of 275. We get the new figure of 20,400. For prepaid insurance, 1,150. We minus 325 which is insurance expense for this year, then we got the new figure of 825. So therefore, the total asset will be 65,800. This slide shown honest equity and liability. The changes is in the figure of drawing. Drawing 2,500 from last year plus this year we draw of 275, then we get a new figure of 2,775. 
Under current liabilities from additional information tree, we have a new figure for salaries payable, which is 315. Then we come to the total liabilities and honest equity of 65,800. Finally, we come to the end as this is the last part of this chapter. Thank you.